Hello, Doctor. Thank you for joining us today. Um, actually, uh, the, the, the objective of taking this video is to uh, let the students know about the exactly what is there, what is exactly there in the field of cardiology. I think you are uh, successfully practicing cardiology in Coimbatore, in Tamil Nadu. To start with, can you uh, tell your story regarding your career path from how you started and where you are working, uh, currently you are working uh, environment like that? Yeah, good, e- good evening Vinod and it's happy to share about the cardiology and cardiology workload with you and all the best for your new assignment what you are doing and the, the question is how you chose the cardiology after my MD I have given uh, entrance for uh, super speciality for DM and DNB and in DM, I wrote, I chose two, Cardiology and Neurology. Initially, I got cardi- I got a Neurology in MMC, but uh, at the time, uh, when my wife was doing my, my doing her MD Pathology in Coimbatore, I was thinking I have to move away and more than that, I was more interested in Cardiology rather than Neurology at that time. And so I didn't choose Neuro and I chose DNB cardiology. Why means because uh, it's the DNB cardiology people, everybody was telling that why you are going to DNB instead of DM. Why don't you wait for one more year and prepare and get into the DM cardio because uh, the past percentage at the time was very less in cardio, say DNB as a whole. I was thinking that uh, even after finishing the DNB uh, for DM, you have to come and work in a setup where more numbers of interventions are doing, which I was planning to go into. So then I thought, okay, it's better to work in a place where then more number of patients, more number of cases are being done, and at the same time, workload is good. And even if it takes six months or one year after the stipulated time it, it's okay you have to give one or two more attempts to pass that uh, luckily i finished my cardiology in first attempt and uh, it was quite tough and it's all about how you take it and how you go forward with the workload And after getting the degree, what sort of work you want to do in the cardiology? If you ask me, like, uh, like there are different subspecialties now, it's coming. And uh, out of that one is, if you want to be a non-intervention person or intervention person. If you, are, if you want to be an intervention person, in that, whether you want to stick to coronaries or structural intervention like TAVI, or pediatric cardiology where ASD, ASD device closures can be done, those sort. And uh, another thing is electrophysiological study where you are, you are up, uh, like you are giving treatment for supraventricular tachycardia or ventricular tachycardia or radiofrequency ablation. And the other, other big specialty is cardiac heart failure. There are a lot of devices now available to improve the quality of life of our heart failure patients. There are different subspecialities available and that will be known to you when you finish your DM or DNB cardiology and in which specialty you are interested that and all whether it's a like after seeing something we, we may have interest but after doing that you may lose that interest over a period of time so it all depends how you up, uh, take it and how you want to go about uh, which speciality you are interested and this is how it should be. Okay, you are mentioning about the sub-specialities. Like all those specialties are there available in India or it is, uh, I mean, <coughs> for, for something we need to go abroad, something like that? <coughs> yeah, actually nowadays, uh, post DM and DNB, we have all specialities in our country and uh, if, you, uh, if you want to do electrophysiology, we have all metropolitan cities, we have electrophysiology courses post DM and DNB, one year course or two year course where you have to go and get exposure to the certain speciality. 
and similarly heart failure if you have contacts outside india like foreign countries uk us or europe and if you have the opportunity to go there and it's well and good you can finish here and go there and observe uh, work as an observer or fellow for that uh, you have to finish like if you are going to us say then you as a milli must be there and for uk mrcp should be there for, for doing a fellow course but uh, and opportunities are available in uh, like uh, korea and uh, uh, place like europe there you can go there as an observer but not as a fellow fellow means then you have to have another step to clear before going there that means fellow means you are being allowed to do something there whereas observer is please only you can observe whatever they are doing after a period of time you have to come back when you will not be allowed to do some procedures there so for that uh, each and every institute have different uh, norms and protocols that you have to follow so by and large there are lot of opportunities in cardiology no doubt in that but at the same time the workload is more and uh, it all depends which place you want to get settled and want to do practice if you want to practice in a corporate setup or a academic setup like uh, institute central institutes or in a town or a headquarter hospitals so it all depends if you want to do practice in academic or academic oriented then you have to be after finishing degree you have to go to a central institute do some ss with for post doctoral whatever we call senior residency or something like that for two years at the s then you will be having opportunity to continue there and uh, like central institutes even for uh, like uh, if you want to do some uh, sub specialty you have to go to a place where that work is more being done that place you have to go and work and then you will get a chance to get into that course then you can finish like electrophysiology or like uh, uh, even after uh, the fellowship in national board of our interventional cardiology is there for pediatric cardiology we have places like where more works being done there like uh, like that you have to go and that all the things are available in india no problem uh, but you have to mm-hmm. spend some time even after that three years course but only if you want to do like coronaries uh, now we in each and every hospital majority of the work is being done on the coronaries in that case you will not have any problem for practicing acute emergencies that can be handled after if you successfully finish three years of course three year course of cardiology of dm or dnb in you know it is we all medical colleges we have cath labs so more work is being done in tamil nadu and uh, more interventional procedures are being done and that in uh, that you properly observe and to work and that is more than enough for you to come out and practice cardiology for acute emergencies uh, some of the stress so in our profession the stress is there always in every specialty uh, i'm asking because So the people should know before coming i mean choosing the field of cardiology like depending upon the scenario like whether corporate center or in nursing center guess they are choosing uh, interventional cardiology then they have to handle uh, all the acute emergencies mostly because uh, that is like time bound activity they have to do like so in that way how uh, the amount of stress can you uh, give your view on that okay. it's a bit stressful because you are working on a beating heart and at the same time uh, you have to like convince a lot of people it's a, a, a see it's not like a ca some ca patient comes they know that okay uh, ca <coughs> though a lot of treatments are available people accept but all of a sudden somebody comes in heart attack you tell them and you explain to them and you treat them majority of times you may be successful many of the times you may not be so we should also know how to handle those situations and yeah yeah that's more important 
always see anything can happen to anybody at any point of time as far as uh, intervention is concerned you should know how to handle that first and uh, if you are doing in a see it all over a period of time we cannot learn everything in that stipulated 3 years of time and it's all a for a period of time everybody learns and stress means like uh, it all depends uh, what sort of uh, it depends on the case or your uh, administration or your own problem and how in spite of that how you help the patient to come out of that crisis situation in that matters and see uh, definitely if uh, when you see when you do cases more number of cases are waiting in the line and then you are taking uh, taking more and more number of uh, more amount of time then everybody around you will become tense but you only know how to finish that procedure and it all depends and uh, definitely stress is there i don't say that uh, it's not a stressful job and see it nowadays uh, if you have helping hands uh, at At certain after certain point of time you should know when when i have to shout for help and uh, when if you shout it then somebody comes and chip in and help you out then definitely the stress will be lesser so so at the end of the day you also happy the patient is also happy and your stress is also less unless then you are working on the same thing again and again your mind after a period of time will not uh, think in a different way uh, that you in a critical situation when you have helping hand it's easier to ease out the stress it all depends if you want to uh, work more then you have to take stress more if you want to work less you can stress yourself less this is about uh, stress of uh, this is speciality but it see at the end of the day you when the patient uh, is going home with uh, I smile in their face yeah. and that gives rewards to you from yeah. and yeah. from my yeah. good crisis if you do something and everything went well yeah this is is that uh, like generally uh, currently that trend is like that is a phrase even though that gives happiness but that uh, that actually in that sense we should not uh, injure ourselves from also because nowadays the amount of doctors doing is like more in they are doing like, uh, like they are pushing themselves and they are working more and uh, we cannot say in the just sake of like seeing smile in other face like yeah so this is definitely i i agree totally see it at any any point of can, uh, time can take a u turn and it can bombard you <laughs> and uh, yeah. see like see at the end of the day if you do some procedure it like it's not like uh, always i am telling uh, see uh, midnight one o'clock you are going do some procedure it works and goes well and and uh, see if you you uh, like whatever you were thinking it goes well then you are happy if it not going on uh, what you were thinking uh, once again you have to like uh, what went wrong you have to analyze yourself that what step which went wrong then you have to change that step this is how at emergencies we improvise our skill and not and uh, not need not go at one now one aim it can happen at any time and see like uh, whatever see whatever uh, we are not injuring ourselves also but at the same time whatever you do you do with some satisfaction that should be there if you are interested in doing like uh, 24 into 7 at any point of time if you are called you are happy to go and serve it then it's the right feel for you and if you think that no 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 i, I want to do only 8 to 4 or 8 to 5 job beyond that uh, whatever happens i am not for that then uh, as of now if you like that then uh, you have to choose a field in sub specialty where no uh, emergencies only like uh, stable cases elective cases are being planned like that then you have to choose and go like that you are and in veterinary right yeah yeah i am doing yes i am doing coronary interventions predominantly and remaining things we have subspecialties and we refer to them and they do and uh, but after dm or dnb cardiology everybody has to do this then 
and this is the like the basic and uh, are totally if you want to be in that sub speciality it's all you work uh, which and uh, how you approach and which place you want to work in suppose somebody want to work in a periphery where you have to handle each and every case it's not like you can just refer it ah you can sit there and refer to the refer to your friends mm-hmm. in the place where they are that is also there uh, the next thing regarding the setup like uh, Do you think the uh, towns like our districts, uh, second tier cities, and those areas? Do you think there is a, a setup to practice public health after completing cardiology? Do you think there is setup in currently in India? In I mean, uh, at least in Tamil Nadu. Yeah, the cardiology. Setup, yeah, <laughs> definitely. See, uh, now nowadays only we have a lot of interventions in labs to do procedures, but. Uh, Any in Tamil Nadu, not every place they they should they have cath lab. Yeah, it's available. See, uh, in even in Taluk levels now it's available in a private setup. But mm-hmm. see, when we were doing MBBS in 2003, 2004 at the time, and all when we think uh, there were no cath labs in uh, like uh, in government medical colleges. Nowadays, in all government medical colleges, we have. very soon like uh, in every government medical colleges we might have cath labs that means now in tamil nadu we have each and every district we have a medical college and mm-hmm. same thing happens and say if we, in government setup in private setup also it will be available so mm-hmm. as far as setups and these things are there and it's available and if you want to make your own setup then you have to put more amount of effort and Investment and make it happen. That's made in. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, recording uh, recently I've come across news like the super specialty courses are not being taken by doctors and it is left. Is it is it true? And if that is true, and what is the reason you think? Yeah, it's there. See, in, in MMC, even cardiothoracic surgery is not being filled. and few specialties where opportunities are less or like the cases are less it's not like uh, like yes definitely there are even government medical colleges must super specialty degrees were left out all because mm-hmm. it takes lot of time for you to settle down it depends on like mm-hmm. somebody is giving help you family is helping you nobody is expecting you to support the family mm-hmm. or giving returns then there are lot of specialties it takes lot of time to settle down like uh, cardiothoracic surgery you have to have more expertise like that mm. so that is the main reason see like uh, yeah. in government setup opportunities are there and private setup also opportunities are there and uh, if you suppose like uh, gastro like you uh, just uh, see liver transplantation and all it takes time and it it's being then in few cities or few places so after that if you want to go into that then i have to do more it's all i was telling the sub specialty sub specialty that is the reason why maybe it's being left out it's yeah, a long see, career I think, long career yeah even after uh, like um, like how i after post graduation we have to set set i mean settle down and then take some time to very self sure practice like that and even after in even in after in dm also then that same a cycle comes then it's actually it will going to take a lot, lot of time to uh, see some like uh, to earn something like that for family or for yourself uh, that's the, i think it's a right decision and do you think the number of cardiologists uh, coming out or uh, excess i mean compared to the demand uh, currently see i do many people say that Now more number of cardiology seats, more number of people are coming out, but mm-hmm. uh, I don't uh, agree with them because uh, the number of cases are more and workload is more, but it's being unevenly distributed. That is the main thing. Mm-hmm. I would like to ask you one thing: uh, if you are given a chance to uh, re, uh, I mean, uh, restart your career path, will you uh, go in the same path? how you travel now or will you would like to change in any way in between like you choosing different specialty or a different setup like a government setup or something like that do you will you change your path if you are given a chance no i 
really I, it's not so and uh, i would choose again the same cardiology <laughs> and uh, maybe a lot of thing new to newer things are coming lot of opportunities are there in future maybe after some time i may also go for some other some specialty it may or may not but uh, there are lot of uh, newer newer things are coming uh, it Uh, not like earlier days nowadays the uh, change what is happening in each and every field and it's same happening in the cardiology also so i would mm-hmm. don't regret and i would choose again in the cardiology okay but do you uh, thinking now uh, looking back do you think that these things should have been done in my uh, during my learning or your specialty time while, uh, while studying in that do you think anything like that like so in that way it will be like benefit beneficial to the uh, students who would like to they may not do the same mistake again anything like that you can say you see definitely you see it's like uh, there are a lot of things after finishing the degree only you come to know uh, uh, at, uh, at the end of way. md on at the end of the md only you know how to read how to go about the harrison how to read the harrison similarly after finishing only we will come to know certain things like uh, certain areas like you know not only academics not only the practical part both you have to give equal importance from the day one of your uh, course can you mention But, something for, in, 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 see, for you for you like you cannot postpone certain things like you can read read at later 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 and finally you yeah. keep everything yeah. at the end of the day and uh, that stress you more and it's always better keep 3 3 3 to 6 months intervals you finish this particular mm-hmm. specialty particular sub specialty sub particular area so that that mm-hmm. helps you and particularly uh, while doing dnd because you don't have much time while doing the course because always you will be more work having more workload and uh, uh, you, you may not have much time at the end also from the day one also day till last day also you will be doing the same work in the hospital mm-hmm. so for people those who are aspiring for dmb particularly they should finish then and there certain works like uh, thesis work uh, whatever it is thesis work or academic or preparation work <coughs> they have to give equal importance from the day one to each and every work like uh, academic practical as well as these then only it will be easier for them to finish in the stipulated time and you, at the end you will have more time to revise also if you do like this it's easy to say but difficult to follow and yeah. <laughs> how uh, your personal life is like how you are managing your personal time spending time with family and uh, how you are distressing yourself uh, like how you are managing you see that uh, we in our days num the group practice is easier because mm-hmm. when you are not available if you get a call you have to suppose you mm-hmm. have to uh, cut it please and do then only they accept it and nowadays uh, we have more people and when your friends are available you can send it to them when you are not available and at the and vice versa so mm-hmm. by that way you can take an off in between and you can spend time with the family and uh, this is how you can see uh, the one word is the group practice and you have to help each other 